We continue now with a report on the sometimes controversial voice of news in the Middle East. Al Jazeera is known for breaking some big stories during the war on terror, including the release of tapes of Osama bin Laden. Greta Cruz joins us with an inside look at Al Jazeera's news operation here in Washington. Greta? Well, excuse me. Critics call it state-funded... <laughs> excuse me. Ooh, critics call it state-funded propaganda. Others say it's actually more accurate than Western news. But Al, Al Jazeera is the biggest TV voice in the Arab world, and there are some 200 people right here in the Washington Bureau. Al Jazeera's bureaus for both its Arabic and English language channels are housed in a nondescript building on K Street. Americans are paying a lot more attention today, at this particular moment, to the killing of bin Laden than many, many people in the Arab world are. But Al Jazeera has been dogged by rumored sympathies or even ties to terrorism. No, of course not. So why was Al Jazeera so quick to air bin Laden's warnings to the West? The airing of the tapes was uh, done in the spirit of actually presenting a different facet of the political narrative. Today, Al Jazeera looks like a regular newsroom, but its viewers are Arab, and that affects coverage. Reporter Waj Dawakfi says being from Jordan adds credibility. Whatever they tell me is going to be played exactly as it is. They you trust know, you. With, exactly. And many here experienced another side of terrorism at 9-11. I was uh, doing a stand-up, shooting a stand-up here in D.C. in Arabic, and also um, a gentleman just um, he spit on me. Never generalize, she said, and remember there are two sides to every story. Familiar mantras to all news organizations. Now, just yesterday, Columbia University awarded Al Jazeera English its highest journalism prize for coverage of the Middle East turmoil, a move promptly denounced by conservative watchdog groups. Back to you. Thank you, Greta. Cruz, thank you very much.